everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to sew a French seam on both a straight edge and a curved edge. These work best on lightweight to medium weight fabrics as they will be a little heavy on a heavier fabric, but they're a great way to give your home sewing a very professional finish. To sew the flattest French seams in a sheer fabric, you'll need to choose a finer thread. In the top, I'll be using Invisifil, a 100 weight cottonized polyester thread that is incredibly fine. This will ensure the thread doesn't add any bulk to the seams. I'm using Decobob, an 80 weight cottonized polyester thread that is nearly as fine as Invisifil, but just a little thicker so I can rely on it to hold my seams together well. Thread your machine and set your stitch length to a shorter 1.8 to accommodate the finer thread. I'm going to demonstrate on a heavier fabric so you can clearly see the right side and the wrong side. I'll also show you the effect on a sheer fabric. On some shears, there's no definable right side and wrong side, so make sure you check your pattern pieces carefully. A dot of chalk on the right side will help you to remember. To begin, pin your fabric with the wrong sides together. Straight stitch down the length of your seam using a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Trim the fabric close to the stitching line to reduce the bulk in your seam. Now press the seam open to help it lay flat so you have a nice, crisp, flat seam. Now. Place your fabric so the right sides are together and push out the seam. Give it another quick press with the iron so it's lying flat. I'm now going to sew down the seam with a quarter inch seam allowance. As you can see, the raw edges are tucked away inside this new pocket and what you have left is a beautiful French seam. You can give it another press with the iron to finish. You can use this same process for a chiffon or organza fabric. When you're sewing with organza or with a chiffon, you can see your seams from the right side, so a French seam makes a beautiful clean finish. To do a curved seam, as in when you're inserting a sleeve on a shirt, there are a few extra steps. So here is your sleeve with the French seam and your body piece with the French seam on the armhole and the side. I'm going to attach the sleeve to the armhole. To begin with, you're going to need to ease in the sleeve cap. You can do this by sewing a line of long gathering threads along the sleeve cap. Change your stitch length to something large like four. Stitch one half inch from the edge of your sleeve around the cap without backstitching. Pin the sleeve and the armhole together with the wrong sides facing, matching the seams and the markings. Then pull up on the bobbin thread of your gathering stitches to ease the sleeve cap into the armhole. Change your stitch length back to 1.8 and stitch the seam with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Check the seam for any tucks and remove them if you find any. Now trim the seam close to the stitching. Press it to one side so it lays flat. The right sides are now facing and sew again with a quarter inch seam allowance. Once again, check for tucks and remove them if you find any. You can give it a final press so the seam lays nice and crisp, and that's all there is to it. Once again, this is what it will look like when you're sewing with a sheer fabric like organza or chiffon. You do see your seams from the right side. But because they're finished with a French seam, they look nice and clean.
thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe for more great tips and tutorials. We'll see you all next time.